Mm, so let's just begin by adopting a nice natural uh, position in our body, a posture of abiding here where we are together. And by sort of dropping all the weight of our day, our week, just giving the weight of life over to the earth element below us and around us. Allowing the breath in, releasing the breath out in a very gentle intention. So right as we begin to practice, we can experience what we call nirmanakaya, the form body that we inhabit in this lifetime. Have a sense of embodying awareness. Just paying attention to the various parts of your physical body from the bottom of your feet. If they are touching the floor, just have a sense of that rootedness through your feet. Connecting you to the earth. And if you're like me, sitting on a cushion, cross-legged, you can feel any part of you that is contacting the floor or the cushion under your sit bones. At once being rooted through whatever is touching your support, supporting your body. and that which is beneath that support, the floor, and whatever, wherever you are, whatever supporting that structure, the rock below us, the earth, that goes oh, so far down into the earth's crust to the iron core of the planet even. So feeling that rootedness in this practice. Inhabiting this body in an easeful way. Whatever you might think about your body, likes, dislikes, maybe worries, maybe there's stress or tension. Just simply uh, allow yourself to drop all the stories about the body. All the projections onto the body. And just simply experiencing it directly from within the body.
Let this be your present moment through your senses. This body in which cells at this moment are dying off and new cells are being born, springing into life, growing into vibrancy, vitality, largely simply the cycle of change, of impermanence that has always been there. This body in change and yet firmly rooted and present. an anchor. A vessel. Even a blessing. This body that serves your best intentions in your life. When you are in the world and responding and walking and acting and behaving certain ways in service of your own mind, your own best intentions. Now allowing it to rest. To become effortless and open. And we can experience this form body by also paying attention to our posture. So just notice your posture. And if you like, you can just take a gentle inhale and lift and open the chest slightly. And as you breathe out, maintain that lift. Let the spine be upright. As you breathe out, the spine remains upright. Let the back of the neck have plenty of space by just gently tilting the chin down a bit, releasing any pressure on the back of the neck and relaxing the jaw muscles and the muscles of the cheekbones and around the eyes. And the forehead and even the crown. Feeling perhaps an opening in the crown of your head. This place that we call the thousand petal lotus. This thousand petaled lotus, receptive and open, right in the crown. So 
So we can practice a little devotion here to this form body. Extending a, some generosity, some kindness to this body. Simply inhabiting this body without trying or striving for anything right now. Breathing in. Awakening senses. Breathing out. Releasing. Letting go. Breathing in and opening. Breathing out, releasing into freedom of being in your body in an open way. And we might be paying attention to also feelings in the body, energy, certain sensations here and there. Let your subtle senses attune you to how you feel in this body. What sensations are you noticing? We can especially notice this when we breathe in a restorative way. We touch into the feeling state of the body. And if we hold our breath for just a brief moment, we may feel something different. And as we then breathe out all the way, we may yet still feel something slightly different. This ever-changing nature of the feeling state. the energy within the body. The energy body itself. If you uh, awaken a sense of gentle kindness in this moment, you can also feel that energy body shift a bit. You may notice a fluttering in the heart. I actually enjoy that feeling. <laughs> this inspiration of kind that comes with kindness. Here in the energy body, we can also feel a sense of warmth, of love. Perhaps of vitality. And even healing. At the heart of that warmth abides a heart capable of great gentleness and love.
at the heart of the in-breath, the taking in of vitality, of vital energy into the body, waking it up and circulating energy, even up into the brain, into the forehead and the orbital practice that we've done before is a great way to feel the energy body shifting, making change. So just feel this changes in the energy body with each, each breath. The impermanence of how we feel from one moment to the next. And yet riding these waves is perfectly okay. We simply remain bearing witness in an open way. And if you like, you can also bring attention to the center of the forehead. Once again, envisioning here a shining white dot, if you like. One that shines outward from the innermost part of your own mind. This is an excellent meditation on its own, just simply abiding here with attention, focused on this luminous dimension of mind in the forehead and stretching out from here, your own luminous mind. this here being a source of intuition and insight and wisdom. The wisdom body itself. Consciousness that is clear and bright. Luminous is this mind brilliantly shining, free of all clinging, as the Buddha says in the Lankavatara Sutra. Luminous is this mind brilliantly shining. And even if thoughts come and go on their own, they arise, they disperse. If we can simply just abide with our attention in this quality of mind, we need not follow what arises. We need not react to what comes.
we abide here with an open spaciousness, this wisdom body, if you will. Underlying this is what we call emptiness, profound openness. clear seeing. The heart of suchness, of simply abiding in this moment. All things simply being as they are. And allow this experience here to include your form body. Remind yourself you are simply abiding in your form body, embodying awareness. Allowing the energy in this body to simply be as it is, the energy of vitality. the energy of love. All joining with this quality of wisdom mind, of open mind. Allowing all of this to be one experience of the here and now, or what we can call the unity body. In an effortless, open way, we simply abide fully and wholly in an integrated way, the mind collected into the center and awareness directed back out onto the body and the space around us and all that is. Another word for this can be unity consciousness used by my teacher, Leslie. So let's abide here for a couple of minutes in what we might call noble silence, allowing this still quiet place at the center of this awareness. The great emptiness of being here and now. 